Welcome back to another Clubhouse Adventures, everyone, at our Winter Wonderland base. And so recently in one of our old videos, we got a question if we could pretty much make like a build where new players would be able to like kind of copy it or have an idea of how to structure a new base. And so right here, we're going to go ahead and build something with Solus Reaper Gaming. He's a level 19. Once again, big shout out to him for allowing us to work with his materials. But before we really start, there is an event right now where we could collect presents and buy some overpowered items. It is part of the Christmas event. So we decided to go ahead and load my mini base, help him out as well as don't forget guys, the golden chest in the middle of town, pick those up. They spawn every 30 minutes, helps you guys out. And right here, we had enough uh, materials for him to buy a couple of overpowered stuff at Mr. Snowy's shop. And from this point on, he got like a couple stuff as well as decorations. So from this point on, we're gonna go ahead and just show you how we're gonna build this. We're gonna click accept his inventory. And before we actually build, Let's go ahead and show you guys what he has. He doesn't exactly have obsidian and metal uh, blocks, and he doesn't really have too many items, but he does have a couple things here. He has two event turrets, he has a couple of walls, and he doesn't really have that much defense, but as is expected since he is kind of a brand new player. Not exactly a level one, but he is a level 19, which is kind of still small. And right here, as you guys already know, we're gonna do our traditional build on top of the flag with some bricks right here. Fast forward a little bit, and you're gonna see the bricks with some marble and we're gonna go ahead and add two points to each side and we're mainly gonna put some turrets on these and we do expand it a little bit more after i realized how much space we had we expanded a little bit more put some hydrogen turrets up there which do 100 damage and some slime turrets which don't do damage but they do stop uh zombies pretty well so i was like why not put these i don't usually use them but they might help him out to get to his highest wave that he possibly could get to and from this point on, we decided to do another two points on the opposite sides to expand them out and pretty much make an X at a bird's eye view. So if you were looking at this build from the top, it looked like an X. And we decided to put Tesla coils on top, mainly because they do have that reach. They do do a lot of damage and because they're very expensive. If you were to lose these midway, it would suck. So we're just making sure that nothing can destroy them as well as us putting a little bit more marble up. And the reason why is because we're going to put two event turrets, the Christmas turret on one side and the cave turret on the other. And the reason why we're putting on opposite sides is so then they could get that 180 visual and be able to do a lot of damage to any incoming zombies. And right here, we go ahead and decide to put a couple fences as well as a little patio. And we do put a cannon there and we do it on all four sides. And the reason why we're putting cannons, even though it's very weak, is because we don't really have much to work with with him. So we decided to put cannons because why not? They're just there. Might as well use them. And we're going to go ahead and, and make sure that all four points of the X's are sturdy enough to uh, withstand an attack. So we're just going to go ahead and build some pillars on each point of the X. And from this point on, on two sides, we're going to add a half cannons just because we do have them. There's no reason not to use them. And we're just going to go to put them on uh, two sides, two pillars, I should say. And from this point on, we do continue to add some fencing. As you guys know, I don't really use fencing, but since he is a brand new player and we want to get him past wave 30, this was the best thing that we could come up with on the defense side, as well as putting a little bit of spikes as well, just to give it the flag a little bit more insurance to make sure it doesn't fall. And we do add our regular pillars on the outside for you guys that don't know this and barely watching this for the first time. The reason why we're putting these out here is because these are not meant to last the entire game. They're meant to last until about like wave 50, get destroyed. And then it's main reason is to keep heat off of your main base. And so this is the final build right here, as you guys could see. And we were able to beat wave 30 and we actually got to wave 40. Unfortunately, it did fall. But thank you once again, guys, so much for watching this. I hope this helps. And if you guys have any other ideas for me to make videos, I'll go ahead and make them. But once again, guys, take care and have a good one.